Good morning. It is Bad Traffic Management Tuesday and today I am doing a bit of a school run discussion because school runs are one of the things that actually get a lot of us a little bit hot under the collar, I think. So today I am in the Wavertree Garden Suburb, which is a beautiful place in case you don't know it. Um, I'll just give you a bit of a flavour um, and I hope you get to see just how beautiful it is this morning in particular with the sunrise being as gorgeous as it is. So, um, this bit of Wayward Tree Garden Suburb has come under a little bit of scrutiny. It is a pedestrian lane. And there has been a bit of a discussion if it should be closed off because um, apparently it attracts antisocial behaviour. But this morning alone I saw four parents basically using it in order to get back from school. So, but the main thing I wanted to talk about is bad traffic management and that involves the pedestrian route. So if I live here and my kids go to school over there, then I want to give you a sense of what the school run entails. So first of all, it entails a really nice walk. So I'm going to give you a bit of a sense of that walk because it is pretty. Unfortunately here, you don't really have any pavements as you can tell, but the road is quiet enough. So you can just walk. And isn't it beautiful? bird singing, little houses, even a little bit of a park or garden. But it doesn't stay quite as nice and I'll show you that in a second. I am now at Thingwall Road and um, here this is classed as a major um, a terrial route to get into town. I'm just gonna give you a sense of it. And it's relatively quiet right now and you can see there's a lollipop lady and you need that lollipop lady because there is no pedestrian crossing anywhere. So I now have to wait for these cars to pass those cars to pass. And now I can cross over to the school over there. So no pedestrian crossing and crucially there's no pedestrian crossing anywhere on Thingwall Road and I just show you what that looks like. There's a pedestrian crossing here over Greens Drive and you can see it just turned red. But there's no pedestrian crossing here. The assumption is that you can just jump the lights. You can but you shouldn't, particularly not as a 10 year old or younger. So I'm now a bit further down Thingwall Road and as you can see there's still no pedestrian crossing, not even any kind of zebra crossing or anything like that. Which means that if it's a really busy morning or indeed evening, it can take you several minutes to cross over and you still take your life in your hands. Um, I once observed a mother stood around here trying to cross over to get to the other school which is Northway with her daughter who, you know, was, you know, maybe had some learning disabilities or something. The daughter was really, really upset and um, they couldn't cross over because there were too many cars. And eventually a man who was packing his car on the other side of the road just walked straight into the road and stopped all the traffic in order for the mother to be able to cross with her daughter. And 
that was so distressing to observe um, and, and that, it that it was necessary was really distressing as well um, and I hope the daughter was alright to be honest so what this highlights to me yet again is that the way the city thinks of traffic at the moment is largely as cars so Thingwall Road is an arterial route for cars but we don't think of crossing over as a pedestrian as arterial routes for pedestrians and I think that is what is required in the city it's a reconceptualization of what it means to move in the city moving in the city shouldn't be consigned to and confined to um, cars but should really encompass all traffic and in particular if we want to make the city greener then we need to think first of all of pedestrians then cyclists and then any other road traffic i see you later thank you for watching and i see you again on tuesday hopefully next week with steve who this week is looking after his cat see you then bye bye